Let's go to our next video mailbag. I fight Carl tomorrow, though. I fight Hello, survivors. It's Erna from Finland again. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm going to start with you. Even though this is hard for me, <laughs> I tried to open my heart for you so many times, but you keep rejecting me. He loves you, Jerry. I guess I love just for some men to be. Oh my god, is this serious? I guess I have to just go <laughs> about. Hey, I still got one more trick up to my side. That's really good! And yeah, it's really on good. Survival Australia that you are such a sucker for a cowboy, so... There goes nothing. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, my question is for all of you guys. Is there some survival moment you wish they would have shown on television, but they didn't? And is there some survival moment you wish they wouldn't have shown on television, but they did. And now for my final words. Thank you so much for this opportunity to be part of the show. It has been a huge honor for me. I love you all, you guys. And Dick, could you just once say my name right? Fuck no! <laughs> I love you guys all. And Jerry, if you ever change your mind, <laughs> okay, let me just say that that right there was, that made the entire season and all yes. these podcasts worth it. <laughs> I, I was more entertained by Erna exactly. than the entire season of Survivor Nicaragua yes. Redemption Island. And how do we get that guy on TV? <laughs> amen, amen. He's trying to be on Survivor. Now, I want to let you all know that Erno. oh, God damn it, I said his name right. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I want to let y'all know that Igor was stopped in the streets of Finland and asked for his autograph last week uh, no. from somebody recognizing him from RTV's on Survivor That's Recap. awesome. That's awesome. So, uh, we've, we've made a little local a celebrity, celebrity. There in somewhere in Finland. Is, is, is RTV's are making... What's that? Is he a vampire? Wait, <laughs> 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 he's he creepy. That's a pretty he... Finnish guy. I, yeah, I, I thought he was a retarded vampire. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you got to hand it to R RTV Zone making new stars quicker than He's Burnett awesome. and CBS. <laughs> oh, oh, zing. And you know what? Obviously, there's some loyalty to our fans. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so his question was, is there something on television that they did show on the show that you didn't yes. want shown? And is there something that they didn't show that you did want shown? Oh, Jerry, oh, go. I have one, I have one. Go, Jerry, go. I wish to God they would have showed the moment after Amber and I got back from eating the first big meal we had had in like 20 days in Australia. And that night we both got up at the same exact time, grabbed a shovel and a couple of candles that we had won in the challenge, and <laughs> took a shit next to each other, literally three <laughs> feet apart. I dug a hole three feet apart from each other, and I laughed the entire time. I've never been able to do that in front of anybody. <laughs> Todd's jaw is goodness. in his lap right now. Todd can't even believe what he's hearing. No, That's I'm what I wanted to see. I wanted to <laughs> they can't show. They can't show. <laughs> Jerry, it's a family show. They can't show pooping. <laughs> and you know what? Then you guys would have all found out that early on what a bonus it is to use unrolled tampons for toilet paper. Oh! Hey. Oh, yeah. We thought of that. I'm glad to know. You know that, that, oh, that we thought of it first. Yes, that situation... <laughs> That situation reminds me of the, uh, the film uh, Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle when he gets peeing in the middle of nowhere and this guy shows up out of nowhere and stands right next to him. He's like, what? <laughs> uh, Lex, anything oh you wish that they had, Joe? God, there's so much. Um, the time that, uh, the that I took Tom on the reward challenge um, out in the... Uh, out in Tanzania for the Great Migration and he got so liquored on whiskey that... Um, oh, yeah! He passed out, that. and I kept drinking by myself with a cameraman. And at one point, with, I had my back turned to the tent, and at one point, I'm just sitting there drinking, and the cameraman was like going, <coughs> and I'm like, what's going on? What does he see? And I turn around, and it's Big Tom with his trousers down to the ground, mis mistaking me for the John, and he's just about to take a piss on my head. <laughs> and so I, we stopped it. And, and, and a half hour later, he was vomit launching all over my luxury tent that I'd won in my reward. I mean, he, he, hit, he hit everything except for the toilet. Everything except for the toilet. Very nice. 
Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God. Oh, God. That would have been great TV! One thing that I'm yeah. glad they didn't show was I was with Courtney and I had a bamboo stick over my shoulders hanging canteens and we were walking to our well and uh, we were chatting. <laughs> Here it comes. Fun. Three students. Another poop story! A big old snake <laughs> came slinging out in front of us and I jumped, screamed like a little girl, and shat sure. my pants. Oh, shit! No, you didn't! No, you didn't! So I took off my swimsuit and my underwear, and I threw my underwear into the woods, and I put my swimsuit back on. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, I, you know, I was waiting for it. I was waiting for you to say I had this thing on my shoulders, and I turned to run and knocked her in the head. I was waiting for the <laughs> most dangerous <laughs> moment. Nope. <laughs> Eliza! That's a good oh, one. Oh God! The thing that comes to mind is like that. I something I wish they wouldn't have shown, which was right after the the challenge where I couldn't catch a pig, and we were like running around to catch pigs. And I'm like, I grew up in New York City, D.C., and like you know, I mean, I'm a city girl through and through, and I'm like the only Jew out there. And of course, like I'm the only one who can't catch a freaking pig. <laughs> and I, was, it was, I mean, it was like. It was like the worst challenge imaginable for me. And so of course we get back to camp after having lost these like beautiful, delicious steaks. And I'm sitting there on the beach like peeling our dinner, like I'm helping Amy make dinner and I'm crying. And I'm like, but I'm just not used to being bad at things. And I'm like, oh my God, like that is literally the most mortifying. Like I hated that moment. Like I wish that hadn't been shown. You had hormone tears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brought on by lack of piggies. <laughs> yeah. Just right on. And steak. No, Sorry. I wish, I wish they hadn't have shown me running through the uh, jungle naked. But that's naked. <laughs> that, was that was absolutely fucking terrible. You're the one who took your underwear off, fool. Yeah, uh, well, I know. He's I know. just embarrassed that the little black square to cover his penis was only this big. Pixel <laughs> <laughs> blackout, right? <laughs> Okay, fair play, what's yours? I, I can honestly say that uh, I, I feel that my time on Survivor, they, uh, they showed everything that you saw on TV was the only important stuff happening whatsoever. <laughs> and the 112, min, uh, 112 seconds uh, of Rhino time you saw on Pro Islands was the only time he was interesting within that three-day span. <laughs> so uh, I... I I think it's. I, I don't think you could do anything better. I think it's the best. You know. You know what? I actually just thought of one more that I wanted to share very quickly. Um, the the moment that should have been shown on the show was the moment when the shelter and the all stars flooded, and we oh. almost got swept away into the ocean. And why was there no footage? Because the storm was so bad that the cameraman ran away. <gasps> we had that happen in China too. The cameraman <laughs> left. Yeah, we had that too in All Stars. Yeah. Yep. We had, we had that. <laughs> okay. We still owe oh, Yao. Yao, what was yours? Uh, that's not. I'm not so much about uh, me, but I think the, all through the time we were in that cave, uh, Anthony oh, Robinson yeah. was imitating Jeff Probst in an East Indian <laughs> accent. I mean, he was. It was hilarious. I wish they show some of it. He was really, really genuinely funny. I mean, it was like he was the East Indian guy doing Jeff Probst, and we just were. And he's funny. Up. I like Anthony. <coughs> well, yeah. Anthony's a great guy. I 